Hello, welcome to Fidelity TV. I'm Tristan. I hope you're doing really, really well today. We have a discolor fit workout session. Workout number three from Fistix book one series, and this is going to be very, very enjoyable. I'm looking forward to taking you through this one. So grab some water, of course, get your workout gear on, and let's go and dive right in. See you inside. <laughs> Okay guys, so here we go. We've got some bands there, we can use this workout. Before we start anything else, as I always say, if you're coming to this and you've been through the video before, you should know that you can just go and search for the colored workout session timer bar that pops above my head. Find out that's when the workout begins. I'm gonna start our introduction preparation section. There'll be a timer down here, so I'm gonna take you through everything you need to know for the workout before we actually begin. Firstly, fit sticks. Uh, I've mentioned in the other videos, this is my series of kind of goofy stick figure art books. They're all solid workouts, just done in a very different style. They're good, you know, they're kind of designed, my kids wanted to get into uh, exercising, so I, I would tend to draw workouts with stick figures and just say, okay, this is how you do this, this, and this, and this. And that's how this evolved. So if you're a beginner, you want to get some of your children to start seeing some workouts that can be easy to understand, this is this is it. I also put in here, rather than making just a book, I put in the private workout video classroom. So every workout in there had a uh, corresponding video workout. What I decided to do for for our channel here for the Colorfit workouts was to rather than keep them, you know, you have to get the book to get the workout. I decided just to go and re-record them all from start to finish and give them to you guys free of charge so you can you can have workouts as well to put into the color fit workout plans I give you. So I mean in return if you'd be willing to if you want to support me and just go and grab a copy of the books. There are a few bucks on the digital version and these are the new paperback ones which always set a nice coffee table book so you can leave out for people to, to browse while they're having a drink at your house or whatever. Workout today is going to cover eight exercises and well, actually in the book you find there's seven. What I'm doing is I'm going to do, one of them is the calf raise, single leg calf raise. So we'd rather do one leg per circuit, we'll add two in, so it basically makes it eight exercises. In the books, there's lots of information. Um, we've got like fitness facts and other stuff. And there's also different uh, ability levels and also timing patterns. Today, I'm gonna to randomly choose well, I say rather than choose, I'm going to do 30 seconds, which would come under the, around the intermediate section. Yeah, 30 seconds on, and I'm going to go for 20 seconds breather. In the books, I say we want to try for no rest between exercises, if possible. Once you know the exercises and you're going through them, you know what, I can, I can go straight through it. But I don't want to talk to you through the exercises, 20 seconds is a good little time mark for me just to get ready for the next one and explain a few things. So it's 30 seconds on, 20 seconds breather. We'll go through this one twice, okay? Intermediates can normally go through three times and we're gonna have a minute's break or rest in between the circuits. So I think that gives you enough information, but let me quickly go through the exercises now here. We have zigzag push-up, reverse alternating lunges, band rows, all different options, and in Fistix book one, workout two, I showed you some band rows. Let me do those again. We have the single leg calf raises on the left side, we have a single leg calf raise for the right leg. We're then gonna do some band curls, or a towel hammer curl, a reach out push up plank variation, and then bodyweight squat jumpers. And I'll show you each one, how it can be modified if you are a beginner, because you don't have to be intermediate to do this. You can be a beginner and uh, you know modify it accordingly, and I'll show you how to do that. So. This is the book, put that there. We'll do a little warm up. And I wrote down some notes on my trusty notepad. <coughs> the the warm up I want to do here is gonna be, we'll start with this. Timer on the screen. Come up, just a knee hug. Now, you are possibly going to wobble. I typically do one of things on my left leg of what's balance, okay? I'm just trying to bring my knee up, okay? And just come down, bring it up. And come down, bring it up, and come down. 
As you bring it up, you're gonna feel this contraction tension through your glutes here and the top of the hamstring. That's okay. Come up, down, up. See, I told you, my left side is poor. Yeah, come down. All right, let's come across and just firstly, shake gently from the knee, all right? And you're gonna feel the outside here of your kind of thigh and also your glute. It's going like this. Change sides. What you can do as well as you want is come here and just bring the legs sweeping across. Like a pendulum. From the side. Just try and get these hips nice and loose. Okay. We'll come wide. I'm just gonna bend. Don't bounce on it. Just stretch and back. Stretch, back, and then unlocking my knees on this one. You've probably seen my other videos where I do the, the bend knee variation, but lock your knees. Don't come down as far if you feel too much tension on the hamstrings. Come in here, I feel it there for me. Now a lot of people, um, especially women, will be more flexible and they'll come all the way down. But I'm gonna go there and just feel it. Don't ever bounce on the stretch. And I've said lots of videos not to just do static stretching, okay? So we, we wanna try and mix it up with an active movement, all right? So let's go ahead and do one of our all-time favorites, jumping jacks, okay? We'll do 15. And if you wish, you can always start the jumping jack, get the blood flowing, then do some stretching. It's up to you. This is fine. Now, if you want, we'll get the timer going. 10 second count in, eight exercises. <sighs> One thing to mention we have here is the um, band, sorry, the towel curl. I've also told you before, like the towel row, where you get a towel, wrap it around the handle of the door, face the edge of the door, hold the towel, lean back so your weight's on the towel, and then just pull in like this. If you're doing the hammer curl variation, you don't have bands, what you can do is grab the towel like this and just curl it. Same exact thing really, except the first one you're pulling for a row, hammer towel curls is this. You'll lean, make it harder, bring your feet closer and lean back more, okay? But like I said, I think, I highly recommend grabbing some bands because these will come in very, very handy. Great to have, I'll put a link in the description, but you may have some around. We're gonna do a lot of workouts where we'll use bands as one of our main pieces of equipment, and they're very useful to have to introduce resistance alongside body weight exercises. All right, something to bear in mind. Let us begin. Okay, 10 second countdown. Zigzag push-up. The way this is gonna work, I'll show you from the front here is we're gonna have one hand here, okay, and this first circuit. So you're coming down and you're kind of getting the benefit of a close grip push-up on the left side, and this one's out a bit more working more of the side of the chest. So I'm coming like this. You'll your knees and make it easier. And just come down as low. I like to get to the chest if you can, but to start with this one, just come down at your own pace as low as you can go, and then come up. This is more advanced. So if you feel you want to get into just a normal push-up, that's fine too, okay? Coming down, fantastic. It's all on the right side there. Second circle will switch. Reverse alternating lunges. So the reverse lunge will be, we'll have our hands across our chest for this one. Five seconds, alternating. Chin up, shoulders back. Yeah, something like touch the knee, if that's what you want to do, that's okay. You 
feel a nice burn in the quad. And also your hip flexor back there. Ooh, down. There we go. 20 seconds. We're then moving into a band row. I'll start with the purple band. Typically you find the thicker the band, the harder it is. The band row will be like this. Stand on it. Grab it. Hips out, back flat. Rowing up. Squeeze shoulder blades, down. Squeeze, down. Try focusing, after the squeeze, control the way down. A lot of times on that negative, people do that. Come up, control. Squeeze, control. If you've got a very thin band, spread your feet wider to make it harder. You can always change that tension on many bands just by changing foot placement. All right. We have single leg calf raise. Like I said, Jim, we're going to do it all on one side of the right leg, actually, okay? I'm going to like this, up, down. Now, you could do, and I'll show you the next leg, the standing variation. What I'm doing here is kind of like a modified, what's called a donkey raise, where you want to keep your torso down as low as possible, almost like in 90 degrees. Don't want to be up here, really. I'm here, and just come up and down. And this here is a very, very intense exercise, especially being on one leg. My God, I felt the burn there. So what I would do is do the left side, exactly the same foot placement, like a mirror image. But the other alternative, if you want to do it, is just standing up. So you hold a chair if you wanted to, or if you've got the balance, just do it like this, or just hold it or something like that. And away we go. If you have a step, you can step, you can step, you can stand on the step so your heel comes down below the level of the step to get a good stretch. But I feel that you're good with this right now if you don't have a step. And the tension at the top there is, whew, and you'll feel that kind of burn, that like acid burn. You want to do the speed a bit more, that's up to you. you get your contraction, come down. Contraction, come down. Bloody hell. Whew. Shake him off. Right. I think it's the band curl. Oh, am I right? Yes. I like the ones with handles, but you can also use the one without the handles. I come in here to make it tougher. I spread my legs wider, stretching the band. Up, down, up, down. When you can try to have your wrists up a fraction, so your hands are a little bit below, rather than doing that. Put the tension right on the bicep. One, two, one, two. Control the negative, the way down. Sometimes with curls, I have my clients bend their knees slightly to the tension of the lower back rather than locking their legs out. You try it, it helps. Reach out plank or push ups. We'll start with the plank. So it could be here, but I'm going to do this is what I call plank. One, two, one, two. Give the core time. flat as you can. On circuit two, I'll show you the one with the, we are in the push-up position. Body weight squat jumpers. If you're a beginner, body weight squat is fine. Be like this. Excuse me, with a jump. Just a soft landing. Try at the top here to squeeze 
your core muscles, you feel a burn, much more pr yeah, pronounced, but Nice the heels down the ground. One minute. Whew. Lovely. Water. Back into it in a minute. Put a look at me. Making the right mess. Like my children in this. Okay. That's what we use to work by. <laughs> to clean up mess up. Right. Zigzag. Push up for 30 seconds. In between, trying to fill our lungs. Act into Try and breathe in my nose. Really fill the lungs and try and hold it. Even though I want to be like, hold it. Just challenge yourself during the rest period to get good at your breathing. Zigzag push up. So on the other side, close grip, arm out. Drop to your knees if you need to, or do a normal push-up on your knees as a beginner. How are we on time? Goodness, five seconds. Lovely. Reverse alternating lunges. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Tune up, hands in, shoulders back. Back for the stretch and squeeze. So you squeeze, I'm squeezing the cord, stretching back, squeezing the cord, stretching back. Again, some people like to touch the knee, that's fine. Some people like to go further, further back there. That's gonna give you much more stretch when you hit flexor and quad. I just like to make sure you get down, so this is around 90, the lead leg. Band row. So if I was using this, what we do here, give it a nice flat back. And then make it harder and go wider. One, go. Like that. Now that there, it's too easy on the negative for me. So, oops, I'm gonna come a bit wider. Then go. That's better. Bend my knees. Squeeze, control now. Squeeze. I'm always supposed to get the shoulder blades together, I'm not just getting the elbows up. If you're getting your elbows up, you might squeeze your shoulder blades together. Do it right. <sighs> Lovely. Single leg calf raise. So on this one, I'll do the standing one. On the left one, we'll do a donkey raise bent version. Alright. Here we go. One, two. Squeeze at the top. Ten, well, eight seconds. Now I'm feeling that burn. Okay, so what I'll do is try and, if I can, handle it. Burn through. Okay, so the bent donkey raise variation will be kind of like this. I'm just gonna come a bit more actually. Out there. One second. One, two, three. Back in the day, doing donkey raises, you'd have somebody sitting on your back, around the weight. Machines and the gym that put the weight on your shoulders, kind of thing. Standing calf raises. But if you, you know, doing this is more than adequate at home. Oh, damn. Oh, God. 
Tough right. Band curl. Now, what you do if you have one of these, the way you do it, a little different, put on the thickness of the band, all right? So here, it's just thick. If I go around both of them, so that as well be too much. I'll come up and down. I'll also come out further if I wanted to. Okay. Remember what I said last time? Try to bring your wrists a fraction higher than your fingers. Shoulders back, knees bent a fraction. Focus on squeeze at the top. Controlling on the way down. Squeeze at the top. Squeeze at the top. All the way down. Ooh, that's quick. 20 seconds. Reach out plank, push up position as well. So I'll do it in the straight arm variation. Here, like this one. One, two, two. And you could, again, beginner, come to your knees. Prefer that. You keep your core tight. And again, a plank. Plank on its own at the very start as a beginner is a challenging exercise. As we go through them and get stronger, we'll do variations that will make them rather challenging. Last one, body weight squat jumpers. So, again, heels coming down, not on toes. So, if we're doing it, let's go forward. Keep going, so basically done now. Of course, if you want to do another circuit, rewind back to the break point and do another. Whew, okay. Cool down. inform you of your newest workouts when they come. I'm also going to be giving you bonus surprise workouts when I'll add in new workouts not on the normal schedule. So click the bell for that so you know. Alright, side to side. Again with the fit sticks here, like I said I'm re-recording all of these so that we can use them in our colourful workouts. But if you would want to support me, you can grab a book from Amazon. Oh, hang down, lock the knees again to the point where I get a start, you feel that tension. You may find that it'll be lower this time as you warmed up and stretched. And down. Pump a bit lower. Legs locked. There's a wall or a banister or something. I'm gonna come like this and I'm gonna push my, my chest out and turn. I've been stretched all along the chest here. Okay, just come it low. I don't want to bunch up here. You want to come low? Break through it. Chicken sides, so I'll be like this. Round. Oh, okay. Join me over at the Fit Daddy TV, fitdaddy.com, and you can get your free Color Fit workout calendars. And then you can, because of course you can follow a guide, or you can just grab a workout that suits you on any particular day. And 
feel better after about 15, 20, 30 minutes of doing these workouts. Thanks all for coming, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you again on the next video. Take care.